Now, I'm extremely honored to introduce our next guest speaker. She's a friend. She's your member of Congress. She has fought so hard in the House Armed Services Committee to get it through the House and get Don't Ask, Don't Tell to the floor of the House and get the repeal done in the House. Tomorrow in the Senate. I'm very proud to introduce the Honorable Shelley Pingree. but particularly those people who do so knowing that they are always at risk for losing that job. You know, it wasn't long ago that women weren't allowed to serve in combat alongside men. And when we debated ending that ban of women in the military, critics predicted if women were allowed in combat, that discipline would dissolve and unit cohesion would crumble. The arguments against allowing women to serve in combat are exactly the same thing they're saying about allowing openly gay men and women to serve. And I know, I sit on the Armed Services Committee and I hear all those arguments firsthand. But after two wars where women have served ably and bravely alongside their male counterparts, none of those grim predictions ever came true. Discipline has not suffered, and our military remains the most powerful and effective in the world. But those two wars have taken a toll on our country, on recruitment and retention. Our military is stretched very thin. And the last thing, the last thing we should be doing is kicking out skilled men and women who have volunteered to fight for their country. we should be doing is telling troops that we have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to train, we just don't need your services anymore. The last thing we should be doing is saying that no matter how brave you are, no matter how dedicated you are, no matter how patriotic you are, if you're gay, we don't want you to wear the uniform of the United States. We should not do that. Don't ask, don't tell threatens our national security. It wastes our precious resources, and it goes against the very values our military embodies. Integrity, honesty, and loyalty. I was very proud to represent Portland, to represent the 1st Congressional District of Maine, and stand on the House floor and speak out against this backward and ineffective policy. And I was very proud to cast my vote against this policy that does nothing to make our nation safer. And I am proud to continue to stand as we continue this fight. And you know what makes that possible? It's possible 
to do that because all of you come out and turn out and let everybody know where you stand and who you support. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, appreciate the ability to represent you.